time my lord hath a wallet at his back wherein he puts arms up for oblivion, a great-sized monster of ingratitudes. Those scraps are good deeds past, which are devoured as fast as they are made, forgot as soon as done. A perseverance, dear my lord, keeps honour bright. To have done is to hang quite out of fashion like a rusty mail in monumental mockery. Take the instant way. For honour travels in a street so narrow where one but goes at rest. Keep then the path, for emulation hath a thousand sons that one by one pursue. If you give way or hedge aside from the direct forthright, like to an entered tide they all rush by and leave you hindmost, or like a gallant horse, fallen in first rank, lie there for pavement to the abject rear are run and trampled on. Then what they do in present though less than yours in past, must or top yours. The time is like a fashionable host that slightly shakes his parting guest by the hand, and with his arms outstretched as he would fly, grasps in the cover. The welcome ever smiles, and farewell goes out sighing. Oh, let not virtue seek remuneration for the thing it was, for beauty, wit, High birth, the vigour of bone, desert in service, love, friendship, charity are subjects all to envious and calumniating time. One touch of nature makes the whole world kin that all with one consent praise newborn gods, though they are made and moulded of things past, and give to dust that is a little guilt more law than guilt or dusted. The present eye praises the present object. Then marvel not, thou great and complete man, that all the Greeks begin to worship Ajax, since things in emotion begin to catch the eye than what not stirs. The cry went out on thee, and still it might, and yet it may again, if thou wouldst not entomb thyself alive, and case thy reputation in thy tent, whose glorious deeds, but in these fields of late, made emulous missions amongst the gods themselves, and drave great Mars to faction. 